Ah, oh, what a good day today to chill on my base plate. I mean, just shut up already with your stupid introductions. Always making them long. Sending in the army. Now I'm gonna send in the Devmelon army. What? Hello. What? What? Hello. What the I'm fuck? I'm not. I'm not even gonna. What? I'm not even. I'm not even gonna say anything. Why is there so many of them? It, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way he's about found a way of building an army. No, no, no. No. No, no, no. When will this end? When will this end? When will this end? No. All right, guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be making a zombie spawner in Roblox Studio. And before we start the video, if you do have any issues, make sure to join my Discord server or comment down below. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing we need is actually the NPC. And I got this evil dev melon right here uh, model. And I got the AI script from, from my NPC video, which will be linked in the description. But yeah, now that I have my NPC, I'm going to move it to replicated storage and let's start making our uh, zombie spawners. So to make a zombie spawner, I'm going to add in a part and I'm going to call this spawner. I'm going to anchor it, set its transparency to one and set its can collide to false. Now, let me just move it like there just so that it doesn't uh, go right where I spawn. And now I'm going to do script and I'm going to do spawn script uh wait first let's get re replicated storage local rs is equal to game get service replicated storage local npc is equal to rs wait for child evil dev melon which is the name of our npc so you can put any of the name that you name your npc and then we're gonna do while wait five do local clone is equal to npc clone clone dot parent is equal to workspace okay so so this is cloning our npc so it's going to duplicate it and move it into our workspace so that you could see it then after we have to position it so local hrp is equal to clone dot humanoid root part then we're going to do hrp dot position is equal to script uh let's just to make it easier let's just do local spawner is equal to script dot parent so lo hrp dot position is equal to spawner spawner dot position and that's pretty much it guys that's actually it's a really simple script it seems like it's hard but it's literally just a few lines of code literally 10 lines of code and now if we try this out we'll be able to see that our dev melons will be spawning but there's a slight issue they spawn in a weird very weird way because they glitch out and i don't know what happens and to fix this what we have to do is because i made a little mistake is human report dot c frame is equal to spawner dot c frame and let's just do plus c frame dot new zero uh five and zero and this is gonna move it up a bit so that it doesn't glitch through the ground now let's try this out and now if we see so this had to be vector 3 on you i made a little bit of a mistake and now if we try this out we can see it spawns a evil dev melon every five seconds so we spawned one now we spawned another one let's see how many it's gonna spawn it's just gonna spawn them and we can actually go ahead and just change local cooldown is equal to one and then just make this cooldown so that we can change the variable let's just say one second uh, and then it will spawn them every one second and guys there's a little bit of an error if you guys followed the npc tutorial there's a little bit of an error that happens and the npcs damage each other which i didn't actually fix in the tutorial and what we can do guys to fix this is if we go into our npc script which we made in our last video and guys it's a very simple fix and it will stop your npcs from killing each other so what we're gonna do is and player.character.name is not equal to and we're gonna set it to the name of this so npc.name then and that's it that's pretty much how you do it it's a simple fix and now if we spawn it they will follow you they won't kill each other but they will kill you here and let's also do it for the damage script here and uh hit.parent.name is not equal to npc.name so yeah that's a small that's a small fix for our npc script 
And now we have our little spawner, our little evil dev melon army. And they don't damage each other, but they damage me, obviously. So yet, yeah, as we can see, they kill me. They don't damage each other. They don't follow each other too. So yeah, that's pretty much how you make... I gotta run from these guys now. That's pretty much how you make a... So yeah, that's pretty much how you make a zombie spawner in Roblox Studio. And we also fixed our NPC script from our last video. And yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And also like and subscribe to save me from this army. Also, because it helps out the channel. But yeah, if you do have any issues, make sure to join my Discord server. Help uh, that, what I said before and uh, comment down below if you don't have any issues. But yeah, guys, my, my game is lagging out. If you did enjoy this video, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll, I'll, see you in, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!